Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sandra and Luca. So we're gonna be comparing CS degrees versus IT degrees. IT majors in my school, and I think in every school, are kind of considered like the CS dropouts. IT majors typically take less math classes, and they also typically take less coding classes in terms of lower level, which was also true for my major. And I went to Temple University, and it was a state school, but it was definitely not as highly ranked as University of Maryland College Park. So that's definitely something to know. So I study computer science at my school, University of Maryland College Park. And uh, at my school, you have the option of either going general track or a specialized track such as data science or cybersecurity. Most computer science majors, like all of them, you have to start taking the basic entry level courses up until the 400 levels, which is what you typically take as a junior or senior. My major, we really took the same classes as, as the comp sci majors, but we just didn't have to take Calc 2. We still had to take data structures and algorithms, but we also had a lot more options in terms of electives. So back in college when I was there, and uh, the comp sci was the only thing and the IST or information science and technology didn't exist until like my junior year and disclaimer I I'm pretty confident that they created that major because too many CS students were dropping out so before at my school CS wasn't like a limited enroll program so like anyone who takes computer science courses passes can declare themselves as CS so other major students like bio or like you know pre-med pre-law like people who don't do well they switch majors to comp sci and then comp sci had like 25 percent of my school's students so oh, like damn. maybe not that much but like a lot like 10k easily so like yeah it's wow. a really big program and uh, a lot of people fail because most courses are curved and uh, there will be someone who passes someone fails and uh, over the years like i talked to people you know ist and uh I saw what the program's about. I'm not sure if they take less math, but I actually really like some of the classes they take. They, they take like very relevant courses, meaning like very hands-on, like getting to know how to use certain tools, prepare you for on the job in comparison to like computer science, which they more focus on like lower level, like algorithm data structure. IST is very popular and uh, people might prefer IST over computer science. I do think that IT majors have a lot more practical courses mm -hmm. compared to CS where it's just coding and very hands-on but of course you know if you're planning on going for like your PhD or going into academia you probably want to be on yeah. that CS side but if you're just going to work for a normal company you know being a average developer or <laughs> <laughs> being a normal developer and a normal job in tech then an IT major in my opinion works just fine but if you want to go into like big tech then i do think that they would probably prefer a cs major okay so next we're going to go into i guess like the internship prospects of our individual majors so what was your experience getting internships for sure rejections like all the time like the more you apply the more rejection you will get and uh i mean regarding the two major i really think like it doesn't matter when it comes to interviewing and uh, when it comes to interview, I think in general, like certain CS courses better prepare you for them. I never taken IST courses at my school, so I'm not sure. But from what I have seen, like there's no like algorithm or like oh, high, really? high level data structure courses that they have to take. But yeah, so like for internship, like I interview at many different places my junior year and uh, senior year. I stay an extra semester, so like. I had two internships. Yeah, I faced a lot of rejection because when I first started computer science, I was applying to a job and they were asking me programming questions and I could barely code. I bombed all of them, but uh, luckily I was able to find an on-campus job or internship at the time. So like definitely look for opportunity on campus because they're more they're a lot easier to get, in my opinion, or based on my experience. Like work study or like? Uh, not really work study. So like on campus, they they need developers to code their website or something. And uh, there's also partner companies that purely have college employees or like, you know, sometimes your mm. computer science professor might have a side job or something like that the school is paying and 
he's hiring developers. And uh, junior year, I mean senior year, when I was applying to my internship at JP Morgan, I was able to take algorithm before that. So like I was studying my algorithm class and that course has really helped me prepare. Yeah, I would definitely agree with finding the companies that come to your campus to get hired by because when I was applying for internships, honestly, I was applying for various different roles because I didn't really have any technical roles in my resume yet. So basically, one of my first few roles was being a data analyst for the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And that was a company that came to my school and it was called an externship. So they run it like a course, but you're basically taking their data and creating this big report for them, but it's not paid. So that's one thing to note. Um, not everything on campus is paid, but because it was only once a week and I was basically just learning, it was honestly a really good experience and obviously great on my resume because at that time I was interested in data science and I also got a position doing undergrad research for one of the professors at my school and those also have paid depending on how many hours that you do and of course i got you know hundreds of rejections for various internships hundreds. yeah for various internships i applied to so if you're getting hundreds of rejections it's normal it's okay honestly it's a learning experience and it makes you tougher so yeah i think it's a good thing and my junior year was when i uh, applied for my JP internship. Funny thing is that one of the people that I was kind of in touch with at JP, they also mentioned that IT majors from my school perform better, <laughs> perform better than CS majors from my school. So I just thought that was funny. Well, so in my school, they made IST, I'm pretty sure. CS majors didn't want to take math classes. Like we didn't want to take Calc 2. Everyone was failing Calc 2 and <laughs> dropping the major. So uh, yeah, I mean, that was another reason why I switched into IT as well. If you guys watch my previous <laughs> videos. I really like math. I, I took know. pretty much like Calc 1, 2, 3 and the VQ. Like it wasn't required, <laughs> but I was just like a mathy person. I think probability and statistics though is yeah, a for good sure. course. Okay, so basically, we both had many rejections, but okay. So I guess I did do a interview for a cybersecurity internship when I was in my sophomore year. I did not get that. They basically brought me into a room, gave me a piece of paper. It was like a quiz and then told me to answer it and then had me discuss it with them afterwards. And I was completely not prepared for that. I bombed it, of course. And yeah, that was another interesting experience. I don't know of many CS majors who directly go into cybersecurity, but a lot of IT majors do. And yeah. I think nowadays, like, it doesn't really matter what your major is. After working, like, for three years, to be honest, like, besides the interview aspect, like, everything I have done back in school, like, I found it completely not tangible. Sure, like, it helped me get familiar with, like, a programming language and helped me learn a programming language. Besides that, no one really used graph traversal or like, you know, like the, He's the, spilling the, tea. the complex data structure when you're really coding. Like I haven't done a single breadth first search or that first search yet. Maybe you use it more often at, uh, at some companies, but yeah. Let me know if you have uh, any work that's actually using the graph traversals. Okay, well that brings us nicely into our next topic. How well do you think school the things you learned in school prepared you for the job like i mentioned like i can't deny the fact that algorithm data structure prepared me for the job because they prepared me for the interview like got me the job offer so that's definitely good and uh, a lot of classes i took at my school wasn't directly related to on the job like it was more of a hobby thing like machine learning uh, I also took some other like mobile development or like computer architecture like I took a lot of fun classes and if you're not familiar with the language that's when the courses really prepare you because you spend like a semester trying to learn a new language now you can use the same skill tools that you picked up so I think that's the very important part like learn how to learn and uh, mm. ask questions uh, other than that Everything is individual project, but now you have to work with other people. So be comfortable working with other people and sharing code. I think for IT majors, since we have such broad elective courses around project management, quality assurance, stuff like that, I do think it's a lot more relevant, but not in terms of everyday 
job things, but just in terms of general knowledge. For example, the courses I took really did help in cybersecurity because T degree courses were network security, um, operating systems and architecture. Those courses helped a lot because otherwise I would never have known how load balancers or routers or switches work. I wouldn't even know the difference. It's those things that are helpful. Um, I don't know if they apply every single day on the job, but I think that general knowledge helps when I'm just yeah, talking to someone for sure. and they're talking about switches and I'm like, oh, I know what a switch is. And you know, it, it really is based on that. But I do think another thing at my school specifically, we had a capstone project, which is just a senior project. And it was my entire senior year split into two courses. And basically we had a client and we built something front to end, uh, like from scratch for this client. And we also had weekly client meetings, basically all that scrum agile stuff that we did. And we had two week sprints. I worked in a team of five other students and that was our project that we needed to finish to graduate. Honestly, that taught me a lot and it was also a lot of fun. It's really helpful to learn how to work with people in that kind of environment. That's why internship is important because you actually get to practice like working with other people. And I actually really like your school's capstone project. The last portion of this will be like, if you can go back, what we do differently, I guess, in a way. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, we have so many different computer science courses that you can take. Like, And one of the courses was uh, called software engineering. So that could have actually been really useful looking back now because like I wasn't sure how coding actually worked. For projects in courses, they give us like a template, you know? They, they write comments to do or something like that or they tell us what we need to do. When you're working in real life, it's more ambiguous. Like you don't really know what to do. And a lot of times you might be working on like a brand new project, then you have to start somewhere, but they don't really teach you that. I think in terms of regrets for me, I think it's really just not getting involved enough as early in my college career with student organizations because when I was a junior and senior, I was a lot more active and talked to people and I kind of knew everyone in my major at that point. So it was a lot easier to work with people and talk to people about what jobs they're getting, um, their offers and <laughs> like not just all the offers, but also just about like classes and stuff um, for people who've already taken classes that I'm currently taking. So. It's just nice to have friends in your major that can support you and back you up. But when I was a freshman and sophomore, I was just never really talking to anyone. I would just go straight home after my classes. And that was definitely something I regretted. I wish I was more into that student community in my school with like IT and CS majors. All right, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys found it helpful. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions about a IT degree or a CS degree. By the way, he was also a double major, CS and finance. Double so, degree. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I didn't include it in there, but you know, here it is. Yep. If you guys have yep. finance questions. <laughs> <laughs> just in summary, it doesn't really matter like if you're IST or computer science, like just study up interviews. I think that's the most important part if you want to get a job in tech. And uh, yeah, just be open-minded and learn. And the stuff that you do in interviews does not translate to what you're doing on the job, so. It's okay if you fail interviews. Don't don't let it get to you. You're so good. It's just yeah. That's you, just you the just interview unlucky. process. You just unlucky for that question. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. We post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully we'll see you guys in our next one. Bye. Bye.